very familiar with the object repository, but I have not used it for a very long time because as you guys keep hearing from me, it's pretty useless and I don't like the object repository. It has many issues. So I'm not sure what's going on here. If any of you guys do know, please let me know. I'm very interested in finding out. I'm sure I can do some research and dig into it deeper, but it's not the most important thing right now. The most important thing right now is for me to teach you guys. And what I was trying to teach you guys is what happens when an object is not being recognized. So I can show you this in another manner, which is called descriptive programming. And descriptive programming is the same thing as an object repository, except it allows you to identify the objects through code. And the way it works is you pretty much try to recreate the hierarchy that you saw in the object repository. So you start with a browser, but it filled it in for me because that object is in the repository. But we're going to do something else. So this right here is a property index, and here is its value. And you separate it with a colon equal sign. So we have a browser.page. And page, we're going to do title is equal to dot star. And dot star means a wild character. And then what element? Let's do web element. And now we need some properties in there. And how will we get those properties? Using our friendly object spy. Let me get the application back up. And let's copy these to the clipboard and I'll paste them in here again. These are the different properties. I want to replace these. So check it out. You get all of the properties that QTP has identified and their values. So this is a web element and we need something unique in order to help us identify this web element. So I'm going to grab the inner text and maybe an HTML tag of strong. Closed object spy, and let's get back in here. And HTML tag of strong. Okay, cool. And let's do a dot highlight. Great, let me save this. And you guys get what I did here, right? I recreated the repository using descriptive and I'm putting air quotes right now because we use descriptions to create our objects and this has many many advantages that we will discuss in the future but right now just know that this is called descriptive programming and let me put that here and let me run up to here set a breakpoint F5 to quickly run and then I'm going to hit F10 and it's telling me that the object was not found in the repository. Okay, I quickly did some debugging and figured out that UFT didn't like my title is equal to that star. It didn't like this, it couldn't find the page. Check it out. Oh, now it did. So I must have had a misspelling, which is awesome. So, but you guys saw that error. That's pretty much what I was trying to show you the whole time, is what happens when UFT does not recognize an object. And I can show you that, guys, again. 